Hey guys, Zach King here with a sweet Final Cut Pro tutorial today. What we're going to be looking at is that Apple reflection look that you see in the, the Apple website and a lot of other companies are starting to do that. And it's really popular and it looks it looks good. So we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do the effect today. So here's what the end product looks like. I got this photo here, the reflection, and then a gradient in the background. So I'm gonna delete this and we're gonna start over. So first let's get our gradient and come up to your video generators tab and come down to render and gradient. And you see we get this gradient and it's a little, it's not exactly what we want. It has the white on the left side and the black on the right side. So come up to your controls, click gradient type, go to horizontal, bottom to top. And I also check Gaussian, which makes it a little better. See, here we go. So drag this down into your timeline. And one thing I'm going to do is scale it up a little bit and bring it down so the white is near the bottom. And if, if, if you don't have these crosshairs that show up, come up to your image button and you pr might only have image checked, so you're gonna wanna make sure it's image plus wireframe and you'll get these little cursors. Okay, now that we got the gradient down, let's come over here in my browser, I have a photo and I'm gonna drag that on top of the gradient and this is going to be our, our main photo. I'm going to scale it down as well and put it about here in the center. And then I'm going to duplicate that and just hold down the Option key and the Shift key at the same time. And the Shift key uh, keeps everything in line and the Option key just dupl duplicates it for you. I'm going to... So this is our reflection. And with that, you can see I have two, two of the same pictures now. So... I'm going to take this video, make sure it's selected in my timeline, click Effects, go to Video Filters, Perspective, perspective and Flop. And you, you can see it turns around, but we also want it 180 degrees the other way. So I'm going to spin it. And you can hold down Shift at the same time, and it snaps every 15 degrees. There. I'm going to hold down shift as well and move it down. That shift, when I'm holding down shift, it's just keeping it in line. It's making sure it doesn't move off. So there, I placed it at the bottom. And you can see it looks, it almost looks like a reflection. I've got to turn down this opacity just a little bit. And you can see as we do that more and more, it looks like a reflection. Now, as you see in the Apple thing, they have, they have this kind of similar thing, but it fades off about right here or a little closer. So to add that, we click this, the top, uh, there are reflection layer, go to effects, video filters, we're going to go to matte, and mask shape. Now what we're going to do is go to the filters tab, and edit that shape, and let's move the horizontal scale all the way out, and grab your centers. And now what you're going to do is just move it around until it goes where you want. Maybe I'm going to stop right. That looks good. If I just stop right here, you see the line is still pretty hard. So what you want to do is make sure um, you go to Effects, Video Filters, Mat, And right under that mask shape, right above that is the mask feather. Click that, and now what you're going to see if you, ooh, I didn't have it selected. So I'm going to do that again, effects, video filters, matte, mask feather. And you see it under the filters, it shows up here. And I'm just going to drag the softness right here. So it's not such a hard line. And that's kind of, that's the finished product right there. And it looks really good. It looks like a nice Apple reflection. And so practice with that. You can play around with the gradient in the background. Maybe you want it up a little bit more. You know, I think we could even go down a little more. And it looks like a pretty solid reflection. So check it out. Go to FinalCutKing.com for more tutorials. I'll see you guys later.